Hi you guys, happy Monday. Um, it's another Melody Monday today. Um, even though this is a video blog, I'm not going to be singing or uh, no one's really going to be singing or is there really going to be music? Um, which is weird because I know it's probably not really what you expected. But um, I'm actually going to be talking about worship. And I really hope that you enjoy it because it is right where I'm at right now. Um, last night, I went to Antioch at my church. It's like kind of the young adult service um, for college students and like mid-twenties. Um, so I was there and um, I get excited every time I go because the worship is incredible. Because uh, everyone's just responding to who God is and they see him and they, um, and they just respond in declaring who he is and saying it proudly. And um, you can really... I mean, you know it's true, and you just see all these redeemed people uh, worshiping God, and it's really incredible. So I was kind of going with that in my head. And um, the topic today, or well, yesterday, was um, if God, why evil? And it was talking about the problem of evil in the world, and the man that teaches is Andrew Pitts. He almost has his PhD in, um, he knows everything. It's awesome and ridiculous. <laughs> but, um... So we're just kind of listening to him talk about um, if God, why evil? And honestly, guys, that that is my biggest doubt. That is my biggest struggle is if there's God, if there's a good, loving, perfect God, why was there the Holocaust? And why is there sex trafficking? And why is there rape? And why is there abortion? And why do these things exist? Because in my head, in my own logic, they shouldn't. And it's wrong. And I really struggle with that. And so he went through his whole uh, talk, and it actually made a lot of sense. He talked about a lot of really good things. Um, and then it did, make, it did make a lot of sense, but I was still struggling with it. Because, I mean, this has never been an easy thing for me to just accept. It's definitely difficult. Um, but so then it ends, and we go on to worship. Yeah, and we actually start singing this song, and it's called Beautiful Exchange. And this whole song just talks about God um, making this beautiful exchange with us and switching um, what we deserve, which is hell and punishment, and taking that on himself and giving us his perfect, um, his perfect reward, which is heaven. And it, that's... I mean, that's just such an incredible thing to think about. And um, as we were singing this song, I was thinking about that, and I was starting to get a kind of confused, because then I kept asking God, like, if you're, you went and you died on the cross for us, why, why do you still allow abortion and sex trafficking and child pornography and molestation and child soldiers and AIDS victims and orphans, and hunger, and disasters, and natural disasters, and this song just keeps talking about God's love and it making a way, and I was just, I was struggling with it, I really was, um, and then the chorus um, says, holy are you God, holy is your name, forever I will sing how I love you, and um, it's coming up right now. And just the whole time during that chorus, I was just wondering, it says, holy are you God? And I would kind of sing that, and then I would be like, but God, what about Hitler, you know? And holy is your name, but what about sex trafficking? And then it says, forever we will, um, forever I will sing how I love you. And... I was singing this kind of, but then I was also really struggling with it, and I didn't really know what to do with it, and um, that night I was writing, because my thoughts only make sense when there's a pen in my hand, and um, I had to come to grips with the fact that I can trust God, and it's not a blind trust, it's not like a trust you would have in Hitler or a dictator, because you have to. It's a trust because he has proven himself good and faithful. It's a trust because he, pro he proved himself good when he died on the cross for us and he proved himself faithful when he rose from the dead. And we can trust him. And we may not understand him, 
and we may not understand why he's allowing this, but I know that my moral code is not higher than God's. I know that he has a better plan than I would, and I'm happy he's in charge, and I'm happy I'm not. Um, and I can trust that he's good, and I can trust that he's holy, because he died for us, and he rose again. That's where our trust can stem from. And I know he loves his creation. He proved it. And I know he's redeeming his creation. I can see it. And even though it may not be how I would do it, that doesn't mean it's wrong. And I'm sure he has a better plan than I do because I know nothing. And I've messed up my own life as it is. Can you imagine how I'd mess up a world? Um, so it's incredible just to be able to trust him and know that he is holy and know that he proved it on the cross and he proved that he's faithful when he rose again. And to know that he's redeeming this world. And even though it doesn't make sense, and even though we may struggle with it, he is good and we can trust him. And so I just would encourage you guys to start out your week. Um, no matter what tribulations may be going on or much adversities may be going on, um, just know that God's good in it. And I don't know if you guys ever struggle with seeing bigger trials. Um, but just know that God's redeeming this world, and we can trust Him, and it's not a blind trust. It's a solid trust. I hope you guys have a good week. Bye.